Look, one last arm go. Tell me who you are. We're just here for a project, sir. Tell me who you are. We're just here for a project. <laughs> Please lay down my hand. Tell me who you are. I'm crazy, Democrat. He wants a date. He wants a date. We're just students. That's he all said, I have the, the, a right to know who you are. We are students. Oh, we are students. That's not even a threatening so student. That's like a polite student who saying, sir. Hey, look, sir. Sir, got a suit on. Oh, sir, look, 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 look. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. He wants a date. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to kiss He does him. want a date. Who are you? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Who the fuck my arm? Sir. Who are you? I'm your sir. Sir. No, wait a minute. But he's, he's in favor of defending BP. Yep. See, he's, you. you know. Something wrong with Congressman. You know, where is he? Bob tar Beckham's, and feathers. What did they used to do? You know, I don't know what's going on with this office. Here it is. He's in favor of BP. He grabs students walking down the street. Obviously, this man has a lot of social mental issues going on. Mm -hmm. He has anger management issues. There's an anger management class that they need to set up for senators and congressmen who are unable to handle the stresses that are going on in the country under the Obama administration. Because apparently, he can't handle the stress of Obama. Mm -hmm. He can't handle the stress of government. Mm -hmm. He thought he had a break walking down the street saying, who the hell are you? I want to be left alone. And the boy says, I'm a college student. And the boy pulls back. I got scared. I jumped. I was like, whoo! You know what he should have said to him, Shirley? He should have said, Congressman, take the blue pill. <laughs> or the red pill. Take the blue pill or the red pill, Congressman. The blue pill or the red pill. Because you know why? He didn't do that. He was very polite. You have to act crazy. When people go crazy, That's yeah. a good point. you have to act crazy, too. That's you true. Do. You have to start My dancing. Always said and yep. <laughs> <laughs> but why are you grabbing me? <laughs> You do. But I think he was so scared of Mad Mad took that one hand, grabbed him, and slapped him with the other hand. I, if he had grabbed me, I was like, ooh, that feel good. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, that, that you're stop. wrong. Yeah, congressman. You're wrong. You're just like the priest. You're friendly. <laughs> yeah, he pulled him so closer, and that's when the boy jumped away. He pulled him closer. I haven't Come been here, that closer. close since I went to church. <laughs> Jeez. North Carolina, what's going on with your congressman? I think we should call Congressman Bob Etheridge. We'll have to call him next week and see what's going on. I know he's under a lot of fire. Apparently, Bob Congress, I mean, the congressman has stated he apologizes for no, his actions. Yeah. Where's the he's video? He's going to intervention. Where, where's the video? Of him is, I haven't seen it. what's online right I now. Seen it. I, lo- I searched. I haven't seen no apology. Dave said that he has apologized nah, for his actions. That, it ain't they helping. Are, it, it ain't on YouTube. You're not getting bass. This one? I'm all over YouTube. No way. It's not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. You can barely get this one. They, they, they cleaned this stuff up so fast. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. No, we know this pattern. It's, it's called, here's the word, not accepted. Yeah. Hyphen. And Google accepted. is up there yeah. kissing everybody's ass yeah. and doing whatever they choose to ask them to do. Not accepted. So YouTube, you know, so it's all a conspiracy. Very, very interesting. Mm. Well, before we go into oil spin, let's talk about some of the why a candidate loses and wins a race. You know, a lot of people wonder in a primary, why do we win and why do we lose? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of tips that will help you. One thing about when you run any race of a primary is you need to be prepared. And what has happened is everyone has think that your money needs to be spent only on television, advertisement, flyers, and sign postage. Sex, don't forget the strip clubs. Don't forget, don't forget the taking the people to the lesbian strip clubs. <laughs> who did that? That's, for part, of, race? that's part of fun. Who, who did it? Who did it? I don't remember, but it's necessary. I want my trip. <laughs> Shit. I'll take that's when it's my turn to go to strip club, then he's gonna cut back. <laughs> so I want my turn. Oh, I gotta breathe! Okay. So wait, if we get the strip clubs, technology is what you're watching, and technology is the way you could possibly win uh, your primary race. Alvin Green ran with little money, little time, and little knowledge. And guess what? He won. Because he was conscious of at least registering himself. He did everything legit. Because they, they've been, Democrats are trying to throw this out really bad. They're trying to get this story gone. But apparently there's been so much research done that he has filed everything correctly and put all his ducks in a row. So where did you not put your ducks in a row with the Republican Party? Well, a lot of candidates we've had on this show, some of them we've agreed and some of them we've disagreed on maybe how they ran a campaign. Many of you out there, you have Facebook. You didn't create Facebook pages for fan pages. I would have encouraged you to do that. You know, you want to get out there. You want to get your name out there as much as you can. Get yourself more involved in the community by utilizing your Twitter. I'm on Twitter, and I'm amazed how many of you guys are not connected to Twitter. Twitter is going to give you a little bit more exposure than Facebook. It's going to basically give you the number of hits that you need that you'll get multiple, multiple, million, million names and numbers of hits of people that you would not normally get to hit. 
um, some of the cats we had on here. And I, I think Naraj Singh is a great guy, but he said that he didn't need money. Don't get twisted. You need money to win elections. When he said he didn't need money, I'm not going to argue with a candidate. Every candidate runs the race their own way. He said he needed stamps. Stamps is kind of an antiquated way to promote yourself. Technology is a much cheaper way to promote yourself. Foods, I sent him some food stamps. And save money. <laughs> I, they, were, they were hot, but he won't, he won't know. <laughs> Man, he sees it. Another thing that you can do to help you in your race... Well, you can definitely utilize the community. Block, you know, how many of you guys are out there involved in block parties? Local events, local, local events. Everyone thinks they have to do the big things. You need to take your, your district. You need to break your district down. You need to look at local events in your area. You know what sounds really weird, but that works, is the Yellow Pages. Pick up the Yellow Pages. You'll find out the, the monthly events that are going on. We they have, still have that? They still have that. They have festivals that they picture and they put on the Yellow Pages. Wait a minute. You can use the, the Yellow truth? Pages. I'm telling you the truth. The it, traditional yellow pages. The traditional yellow pages. Not the pages. online yellow no, pages. No, the traditional yellow pages will give you a month-to-month -month breakdown of your city, of your district, of what's going on. If it's the Hay Festival, the Cherry Festival, if it's the African Festival, if it's whatever kind of festival or event, city event, art event, show event, you need to get yourself there. You need to get your people there. Those tables and those booths are only 35 to $40. How many of you guys were proactive in that way? In order to win through primaries, you have to think outside the box. Many of you guys didn't do that on your local races. And because of that, you made an assumption that things would go your way and it didn't. A lot of money can be wasted when it doesn't have to be spent through money. It's through strategy and time. Find a team that works for you. Sometimes in primaries, I've noticed candidates or have candidates that are friends with their opponent. So if your opponent is Mary Brown and you have this guy Sally working on your team and Mary Brown is your, you find our Sally's best friend, but Sally says, well, I got a job. I'm working for you. Get rid of him or get rid of her because Mary Brown is good friends with the person on your staff. If your staff members aren't in favor of you or are in favor, but are friends with your opponent, you need to get rid of them. I've seen that on campaigns and I just don't get it. I really don't. Uh, you need money to win races. That is true. But you also need time and strategy. You have to strategize where you're at at this time. If you lost your race, don't beat yourself up and get depressed and get down. You did better than the other guy. You have to look at your numbers. Okay. So if we look at a candidate, like uh, we look at Meg Whitman's race. Meg Whitman was not the only Republican running on the governor's race. You wouldn't believe that. I think the next person after uh, was the guy named uh, Lawrence or Larry. Last name is N A R I T E. L-L-I, Nortella, sounds Italian. Um, apparently, he was the next one to be one up over her. No, I take that back, Steve Posner. Well, Steve Posner got 400,000 votes, right? Four million, four, was that yeah. four million? No, four million votes, 400 million votes. 400 million? 400 million votes. I, didn't, I thought we only had 300 million people in the U.S. Well, oh, no, well, maybe I'm doing the numbers wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing with you. Stop it, don't do that. You know how I am. He got 9% of the vote. 20, 26.9. He got 461,000. Okay. And then he, he also received 20... Uh, it 26 was 20, point, yeah, it was 26.9% 26 of, the, of, the of, the, of the people who, of the voters, so of the Republican mm, voters. So the race wasn't and really Meg close. And got 1.1. No, not close at all. Not yeah. at all. She got Jerry six. got 1.4 to the next person was a, was a Geary. Uh, oh, G Gary and Pineda both came in at 71,000. Yeah, he got 4.1%. Right. Traditionally, people don't really vote much in these. No, they don't. These yeah. at that got 64.2%. Of the win. Yes, she did. But you know, the interesting point, there's a word out that Steve Posner got money from the Democrat side because they really were scared of Mayor Wigman. Really? That is the word is out. Mm. My, my followers have been telling me the reason why Steve all of a sudden came really strong at the end, we had a lot of ad and radio commercials, is apparently they're saying, now I don't know how true this is, this is just hypothetically told to me, um, that he was endorsed by a lot of Democrats because they wanted him to beat Meg Whitman. Because they felt he was much more um, of a candidate they could beat and take out than Meg. They're scared of Meg. Mm. Democrats are scared. They're mm. scared because they know Barbara Boxer's last days are coming on. Jerry Brown looked kind of comfortable.